Construction day 51, uh, getting close to Christmas. And uh, uh, I've been around a bit in the morning. There's a chainsaw in the background. I don't know if it's disturbing or what, but I'll give it a try without. And uh, let's go down to the house, caretaker house. And I do believe that 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 Mr. Meljor 50 times 100. So that means they made 40 times one. So needs to take down the under. Uh, 40, 40. Yeah. So, and this is 50, 100, 100, 50. 50, We'll take it down, down, huh? So they need to <laughs> chip out 10 centimeters here. Yeah, yeah. That's what happening sometimes. Doo -doo -doo. Not so many walls left, really. You hear the wind? And, uh, just after lunch break. And uh, I think we're going to start the mixer huh? because we put up the first form. Uh, you see inside we have 10 centimeters of uh, half inch uh, plastic pipe uh, with bolted on each side. And the plastic is to keep the spacing 10 centimeters. We put in uh, the electric and then we yeah, checked it in any way, I guess. And we are ready to start pouring our first wall. And we also have a side wall here. Uh, we put in one electric there. And uh, uh, this is yeah, also we put in here and we are going to have a sliding door here so and when we were just going to start pouring they came of course with delivery of hollow blocks so because we are missing hollow blocks but okay we just need to wait a bit i guess somebody asked me about this crocodile board so I say it's a normal plywood uh, three foot or shall we say almost 20 millimeter thick uh, which have a coating on the hair I call them crocodile because this brand is named crocodile uh, they have other brand with other names eh? but it's like this plastic coating on so when they use them as cement form for the concrete they don't stick so you can reuse it over and over again for sadly sometimes and that is what's happening now we are putting our first wall uh, my actual plan was to have also a two by two here but it didn't happen so uh, I guess I try to see how this uh, wall will be, yeah. and then. Uh, but I don't think there will be any. Uh, what you call it? <laughs> things go out. It's not so big this one. Huh? <laughs> hey, I'm excited. I'm excited. Because when the walls goes up then, but this doesn't go up so quickly as hollow blocks. But if we do the proper job and do it right, it will be smooth. 
so we don't need to do any rendering uh, maybe just a little bit skin coating so it will go then faster um, uh, than hollow block and of course it's a lot stronger for sure um, this is a solid concrete so when this is cured after a day or two we will take off the screws and we will move this row the bottom row up to this row so that means the the new next level will be from about here and then uh, this is 15 so 30 centimeters 120 so one of the 92 centimeter would be the next level so we need to do it in three levels And the foreman's making another form for this wall. Uh, this is the kitchen. Uh, kitchen is gonna be here all the way. But we're gonna make this wall. And in this one we need a window. Uh, 120 times um, ooh, 150 I think was the plan. Uh, and I also need some pipes to go out with water PPR so I put in these three pipes two for PPR pipes to go out with water for our outside part and then one half inch for I don't know, electricity or something always nice to have a extra in case there always be something extra just trying to show a little bit what's going on uh, it's a noisy and we have but uh, he's bending the steel because they were not right they were too far in so we need to get them more out foreman is making forms and also is coming with hollow blocks and the rest of the guy are making cement we're gonna pour the last of the wall pouring the very last two of our column and maybe I go around the sun is in our face better from this side so we have two thin uh, columns to pour that one and this one I think and then we are actually done then we are just get up the walls and the tie beams Ooh. but the walls gonna take a while with this form something huh? but Maybe we can speed up when we learn how to use them properly. Oh, it looks like we have a bigger window space now. <laughs> so they cut out and made it proper, one uh, right size. Huh? Yeah, yeah, shit happens. Sometimes shit happens. But with the hollow blocks, uh, no, it's easy to fix. Okay, so you're plastering the whole wall? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, and then they do the, the beans. <laughs> yeah, so tomorrow, I'll, I guess a lot of this will be finished and done. Huh? What do you think about our hollow block? Now our glass blocks. It's just to get in some more light. Huh? Deciding, this is the cement cut. His speciality, oh. mixing. Oh. Uh, but uh, they say hollow block is easy. And uh, yeah, it is easy. It goes up the wall. I don't know, they went up in three days, I think, the whole house. But uh, they spent now a week inside the plastering the walls and they're not finished. And they're gonna spend uh, at least a week then outside. So for a 42 square meter house, and I uh, don't know, four or five people there working down there, uh, they're gonna need at least three weeks to get the walls done. And then uh, in three weeks, I can get a lot of things done also upstairs with the walls.
um, and then if we do it right which I hope we can uh, I don't need to render or I just put a little bit of skin coat on and uh, that is uh, in Norwegian Spadikil and uh, we just yeah so this is uh, last day what is day Friday today I think I think we have Friday that means tomorrow is half a day only and then we're gonna have a Christmas party where they're gonna get some presents uh, uh, we have food drinks a lot of alcohol <laughs> and um, yeah and uh, of course they will get food paid for even if they work half day and then to us 24 is closed but it's a Sunday so but otherwise it would be closed so and Monday 25th they don't like to work either so it's two days off for me I, w I would be glad if they will take the whole week off but I need a rest but um, no they don't like it. so okay so we'll be back uh, yeah we'll be back tomorrow 23rd and then uh, on Tuesday the 26th we're back again and I have to say yesterday and today actually been a very nice day. Uh, the temperature dropped. Uh, uh, there's been cloudy most of the day and uh, I don't know, as it was 24 in the morning, but maybe 28, 29 now. That is good uh, because like 34, 35 normally that is too hot. So yeah, so it finally feels that if this is gonna last, we are into the colder season. Uh, they say December, January and maybe part of February is a bit colder and then we're back on the heat again in March. And uh, about uh, the, the cost so far, I write everything down uh, how much the house... I, I didn't separate the houses so it's in one mix. But I can tell you all uh, shortly how much I spent for cement, how many, steel, uh, labor, and how much I spent so far. Uh, I'm working on it, so sometimes during uh, uh, Christmas, between Christmas and New Year, I will make a video about that. 